What's up everyone, welcome back to Saints Day Awakening. Today we're going to review the second Spectre available in the game and the second of the judges of the Underworld, Mr. Griffin Minos. This guy is a great control unit who can also contribute a little bit of damage to the enemy team. We're going to have the pleasure of reviewing him on my account because this is the first banner I think ever here on Global that I get easily. The last three banners I got were from Shards. We got him from only a few summons in yesterday's stream so I'm going to put that footage at the end of the video. We're going to look at his skills, team compositions, Cosmo, 8 cents, and lastly I'll show you a PvP battle we did today in Galactic. Duel. Finally, I had a chance to play with him, record something live, but we had one battle during the stream, and that's the one I'm going to show you. Starting off with his skills, the first thing you'll notice is that the icons are wrong. These are the icons for Radamantis skills. I don't know what happened during programming, but fortunately the skills do work correctly, it's just the icon that's wrong. Anyway, the first one, Griffin Strike. Deals 80% Cosmo damage, he is a Cosmo attacker, to one enemy, but also decreases its resistance by 20%. That's on skill level 1. This thing can go all the way up to 80% decrease in resistance, making it super super easy to control someone after we hit him with the first. The second one is his bread and butter. This thing lets Minos control one unit for two rounds with only two energy. Now the cool thing is that when that enemy unit is controlled, we can actually choose what abilities it uses. Now those abilities can only affect our team. We can't, for example, force the unit to attack its own team like the Pope's Confusion does. But it's still really, really cool. We can either choose to use a skill that doesn't do anything very important or a skill that wastes energy. For example, Cannon has a skill that uses four energy and does absolutely nothing. It's a really, really good way to disturb whatever your enemy's trying to do. Now that control would last for two rounds and he can only control one enemy unit. If Minos dies or he's controlled himself, for example, if he's stunned, then the marionette will end. The control will end. The last detail here is that Minos is immune to Minos. So we cannot marionette an enemy Minos. It does not work. The third skill is a passive called Underworld Manipulator. And what this thing does is that it returns damage when Minos' control is broken. So remember, his control lasts for two rounds. If before those two rounds expires, either Minos died or he's controlled, we're going to lose the marionette. But that guy, that enemy that was controlled, is also going to receive 250% cosmic damage. That's on skill level one. This can go all the way up to 550%. That's harder than an arrow from Ayoros. The last skill is another passive called Thread Binding, and what it does is that it also applies some damage after the controlled unit moves. That's why they say that Minos is an excellent control unit, but it can also contribute with a little bit of damage. Every time an enemy that we have controlled moves, he's going to receive damage. It starts with 150 and can go all the way up to 400, which is a massive amount of damage. Obviously, that requires a huge investment in tomes, but if you have him or you're finding that you play with him a lot, it might be worth it. Speaking of skill-ups, that is a delicate subject. There are a lot of opinions out there. I'm going to give you my personal opinion in what it would take to run a minimum Minos. So the minimum requirements to have an effective Minos. And unfortunately, this depends a lot on your Cosmo, which is something we're going to discuss later. The second skill, which is his most important, starts off with a 45% chance to control. That's pretty low, but we can increase it with status hit by equipping Cosmo. The better the Cosmo, the higher the status hit that we can get from Cosmo, then the less we have to worry about leveling up the skill to the maximum level, which is 90%, which would be great. If our Cosmo is not that good, or we're going with an ultra fast Minos and we're focusing on other areas, then we're going to have to level up the skill otherwise he's just not going to control. There's a lot of resistance in play nowadays. We have knowing Cosmo and we also have units like Saori who can raise the resistance of the whole team or Shion who can provide immunity. The higher our status hit the more likely it is that we can land this control. So that would be the first priority would be to upgrade skill 2. I've decided to take it to level 3 because that gives me 65% chance and the difference with level 4 is only 10%. That's just two substats of status hit with good Cosmo. So for now I'm gonna leave him there but before the event you know the leveling up event ends I'm gonna decide if I want to take it further or not. The second skill that I chose to upgrade is the fourth one, the one that returns damage every time the controlled enemy unit moves. I feel like we get a lot more out of this skill instead of the third one, which is the one that returns damage when the control ends before the two turns. It's not a bad one to have though, and if you have an excessive amount of tomes for whatever reason, and you want to make them the strongest Minos in the world, then this is a really big threat, because the enemy is going to have to choose between staying controlled or breaking the control and taking a massive hit. Anyway, you need two skills at level two for eight Cosmos, so choose wisely. I chose the second one and the fourth, but I don't think you can go very wrong upgrading the third one either. Minos is another one of those units that benefit from all areas, but there are some that are more important than others. Alpha gives us Cosmo Attack and Cosmo Defense, Beta gives us HP and Physical Defense, Delta gives us HP and Damage Resistance, while Gamma gives us Cosmo Attack and Status Hit, and this is the one I find to be the most important. It raises the damage that we return, which is not a major issue, but on max level, this thing can give, I think it's 17.5%, I think, how do you check again? Oh, you check down here, you click on this thing, and you can see the maximum level, so 17.5, that is a huge boost to Status Hit. After Gamma, I would upgrade or did upgrade Delta to level 5 at least, then Beta for the HP, and lastly Alpha for the Cosmo attack because I don't find that his attack is as important as his survivability. 
On to Cosmo then, and here we have a lot of important and difficult decisions. There's a couple of ways to build Minos. The first one is to build him as a full support tank. As much HP and speed as possible, make him tanky, make him hard to kill, make him move before the enemy units, and that's actually the build that I've decided on. I don't need him to do damage, that's what I have other actual attackers for. So I want him to move and I want him to not miss the control, more importantly. For this purpose, I've chosen Flower Ring. It gives me a lot of physical defense because he's actually really squishy in defense, and it gives me 20 speed, which doesn't sound like a major boost, but it could make the difference. I'm personally not going for attack, but if you were to do so, then Rosary would be choice number one, if you have enough Rosary after equipping all of your actual attackers. And then you have the classics of Cosmo Stone or Eagle Eye, if you don't have Rosary or you can't farm it yet or you don't have enough. These both work really well, Eagle Eye might be slightly better with the Cosmo damage and the HP, but either one could work. In Lunar, in my opinion, there's no discussion, Seiya is the best option, it gives him a gigantic HP boost, but also almost 20% status hit if you have a full set of double S. Some people prefer to go with tankiness here, by giving him Tenacity or Bloom, which also gives him the same amount of HP, but a defense boost as well. Knowing gives him a giant HP boost and status resistance, so he can't be controlled. But remember, if he's controlled and his control breaks, then he returns damage. So losing control is not the most horrible thing in the world. Anyway, Knowing works really well because the HP boost is percentage based and his base HP is super high. In Star, we get to another difficult decision, whether you want to go full support or you want to go sort of attacker-ish. If you want to go full support, the best option, in my opinion, is New Moon because it gives us the biggest speed boost Second best option would be Lotus with HP, status hit, and speed. And if you're hell-bent on going attack, then Hummingbird with Cosmo attack, Cosmo damage, and speed is also a really good fit. I chose to go support, and that's gonna tie into the legendary that I chose. In my case, the best options would be things that help to keep him alive or provide some kind of boost for our team. For boosting, we can use Iris, which gives us 24 more speed plus 10 speed for all of our allies. For survivability, we can go with Soberry, Rising Dragon Teeth to prevent us getting one shot, or the new Water Curtain, which is actually a really cool Cosmo, but it has some conditions right? This thing gives us an additional move when we're controlled and we're under 50% HP. This additional move happens instantly, so you can get out of the control and use your own skill. Now, it does have the condition that you have to be below 50% HP, so at the beginning of the battle, it's not going to be very effective. That's why I didn't choose it for now. If you're going for attack though, Two Horn Snake is your best option. It gives him a big boost to his Cosmo attack, but the condition is always met on the controlled unit, because the way that Minos applies damage to that control unit is that we make the enemy move, we choose the skill that we wanted to use, and after that, the damage is applied. So so technically, he will have already moved that round and the condition of dealing 40% additional damage will be fulfilled. As for substats, it also depends on the type of build we're going for, but I think first and foremost, without a doubt, has to be status hit. If he can control, then it doesn't matter how much attack he has, there's gonna be no damage being done. So status hit number one. For effectiveness, we also want speed and for survivability, HP and defense. If you're going with an attack build, then Cosmo attack and Cosmo damage, obviously, but I put him last on the list because I don't think that's his primary function. Your focus should be to control, stay alive, and do it as fast as possible. Last thing I'll mention before moving on from his Cosmo is that there's a couple of options that are not available here on Global yet. Remember that we got Minos before SCA and the Chinese version has now like a year and a half of life. So there's different Cosmos, I think in both yellow and blue that will fit in better in the future. When those come out, we might do an update. Now his teams, and this one is unfortunately not that easy either. He is more than anything a support character, so like most supports, he fits well in any team you want to bring. He's going to provide control, a little bit of damage, and that's about it. For him, the enemy team is more important than your own. Having said that, there are a couple of units that he works well with, and the first category of those is going to be units that benefit from being attacked. So for example, Misty can create air shields whenever he's attacked. We can use Minos to force the enemy to attack Moose shield, and then Moo can return the damage. And also Doku, we can force the enemy to just use simple attacks on him and generate more dragon more quickly. We can also direct the enemy towards Poseidon's seed, remember the one that counterattacks whenever it's touched? That's actually a really effective strategy that we use today in the fight you're gonna see later. He also works really well with other control units, and there's a couple that are being seen in play a lot lately. One of them is Shun, and with just these two guys and four energy, we can control two enemy units for two turns. That's disgusting. And there's also Misty, which I already mentioned one function, now he has another. They can both control a lot on the enemy team and pretty much lock it down. The last partner in crime I'm gonna mention, and this is a really funny combination, is the elegant elegant and beautiful Mr. Hydra Ichi. Because if you remember, Ichi can give any of our allied units a speed boost equivalent to 100% if we have them leveled up. 100% speed boost, basically doubling the unit's speed. In PvP, we start off with three energy. If we have Marsh Fairy equipped, that's one energy for Ichi, two energy for Minos, and whatever threat there is on the enemy team is instantly controlled. I actually want to play with this really soon. I forgot about it when we did the fight today, but I might use it tomorrow. His weaknesses are going to be found mostly here in the stats, and although he has two really high ones with his HP and Cosmo attack being rank S, 
His defense is abysmal at only a rank C, and his speed is not too great. It only starts at 162, so it's really hard to get him to move before those really fast enemy units. He's also susceptible to control, which is ironic for such a good control unit. He can be stunned, frozen, silenced. The only thing he's immune to is an enemy Minos. You cannot marionette a Minos. There's also the fact that he does require quite a bit of tomes to get him to work effectively, especially if you don't have a really high level of Cosmo, then you're gonna have to work on that second skill a lot. The last weakness would have to be enemy resistance. Like I mentioned earlier, knowing is a really popular Cosmo right now. It raises resistance a lot and it makes it a lot harder for us to land our control. Other than that, he's pretty solid. His use is gonna be primarily PvP unless there's some crazy level where you need to control an enemy or you die. And I believe he also has some uses in the character tomes here, specifically controlling the exploding beetles from Capricorn's tome. And that's really about it. Now, yesterday we did a lot of testing with Omri to make sure that we understood all of the mechanics. I was looking at the footage and it's mostly in Spanish. So I'm gonna summarize here all of the different things that we found out. First, you cannot cleanse the marionette. Arayashiki doesn't cleanse it, Saori can't purify it, and Pandora can't either because it's not technically a debuff. Another one is that if you're fighting an enemy Minos and you have Luna on your team, you can double turn the control unit. Minos is gonna get to use it twice, but then the control ends immediately because it only lasts for two rounds. Another one is that Saori is not immune to Minos control. Remember, Saori is immune to most things except I think Triangle, Shun's Chain, and now Minos Marionette as well. Like we already mentioned, the Marionette will also end whenever Minos is controlled, and that can be stunned, frozen, and he can also be triangled by cannon or chained by Shun. And that's about it. Now we're really done. We're gonna look at the battle we did today in Galactic Duel, and I'll see you guys again at the end of the video. Uh, Kiki. Yeah, we banned Kiki. Hey, no poyation. Let's go, Mino. We're gonna fing lose. I don't know how to use control. You're not control. We're gonna fing lose, guaranteed. Yes? Yeah? Tenemos 5, 3, 5, 4. Nos queda para un Minos y un escudo. Let's go. Oh, shit. Ah, oh, shit. Mi Minos es muy lento, guys. My Minos is too slow. <laughs> my Minos is too fing slow. My Minos is even slower than Poseidon. Oh, my God. <laughs> A ver, aquí, a ver, aquí le enfoca Poseidón es mejor atacante de área que Araya Luis, Araya hace más daño El multiplicador de, de Araya es un poco más alto Y después puede usar sin energía Pero obviamente Poseidón es mucho más versátil Con todas las, las habilidades de defensa De contraataque, todo eso, sí, semilla Pero hay que ver a quién, a quién le echa el ojo A quién le hace los ojos de furioso Who's eager to look with the evil eye Evil Phoenix eye Está buena la música Controla a Yamian Se mueve antes que Minos. Voy a controlar a June. I'm gonna control June. And I'm gonna try to kill something. Permaban pollo? No, porque es divertido jugar contra algo difícil. No, no me molesta tanto. Que hijo de mil. Boludo. Pueden creer. Can you fing believe this, bro? Al chicken. Obvious. Ah, 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 Ay, ocultalo, ocultalo. Ocultalo. Oh my god, yes, we can hide it. We can hide it. We can hide it. Sí, 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 lo ocultamos, se me olvidó, se me olvidó. Timidez, guys. Thank you. Thank you so much. Gracias, gracias. Soy una fucking bestia. Soy una bestia. Todavía estamos bien, todavía estamos bien. Tenemos protección de Shion anyway. Aquí no importa mucho Pero no activamos la curación Oh, but we don't know who he's gonna focus No sabemos a quién va a enfocar We don't know who he's gonna focus, though A June cambió, ok Alright Usamos el escudo para curar un poquito. Why do we have with Dokotor? Because I'm a fucking idiot, Omri. Because I forgot. Ah, no puedo pegarle a este. Ok, activemos dragón. No se activó dragón. Feels fucking bad, bro. Feels fucking bad, bro. Let's go. Nos salió ayer Minos. Está controlada por dos turnos, ¿no? She's controlled for two turns. 
I can do this. Podemos hacer esto. Come on, Kraken. What you gonna do when they come for you, bro? Your chicken gonna die. Your chicken gonna die. <laughs> GG, dice. GG. Why? No se acabó esto todavía. It's not over yet. Este f***ing Shun. Who do we kill? F*** off. Tenemos cuatro dragones ahora. We got four dragons. Why not Ki Iki? We're fine though. I, I think we're fine. GG quiere decir eh, good game. Uno dice GG cuando gana o cuando pierde. Quiere decir eh, buen partido. Sí, hay que matar a Cáncer ahora. Sí, llegamos. If we make it to Cancer. Cancer is gonna move. Aquí el pollo muere. Chicken dies here. Y no le di chance de usar a Cancer. Sí, los cuatro dragones van para Cancer garantizado. Very good, Mondongo. Revienta Cancer. Ay, me lo escondió. No escondió al. Escondió al pollo. Mm, aquí no importa mucho. Hagamos lo que tome daño. GG! Attack Shion. Yeah, with the, he had the ice. What do you mean? GG, bro, Rafael. And that's gonna be it for today, guys. I hope the review is useful to know if you wanna pull for him or not. If you pull him, how you're gonna build him because there's really a lot of options. Now, you know me, I'm not usually a control type, but I have to admit, I quite enjoyed playing with him. It's a lot of fun to choose the skills the enemy has to use. Now we're gonna say goodbye, but after we do, I'm gonna leave the footage from when we pulled him on stream yesterday. It's one of the luckiest pulls I've had, I think, and probably since this game started. If you haven't already, please remember to hit like, subscribe to the channel, ring that bell, and I'll see you guys again very soon. Bye! Afortunado y el tiempo vuela. Asgard es el mejor filler en la historia del anime. Ah, ah, necesito suerte en un banner. Con una, con una individual acá. Let's go. Right back to Minos. Oh, shit. Me, uh, that scared me. Es, está la puta línea. Está ahí nomás. The fucking line is right. Restart Dante. Right away. Da tomo de habilidad. Sí, corre. Itzo. Tenemos que ir a chequear los cofres entonces. Ahora me dices bien cuáles son los mejores. Vamos a llegar por hoy. Lleguemos a, a 500. Bajemos a 500. Y después decidimos si le tiramos con todo o no. I'm not sure if I'm gonna, if I'm gonna summon everything or not for him. Because I don't like control. ¿Qué te perdiste? GD, nada. Acabamos de empezar con mis invocaciones. No te has perdido casi nada. Tira entre Leo, Virgo y Sextant. Bueno, ahora vamos para allá. Come on, Minos. Come on, bro. One easy banner, please. One easy banner. Everybody's like, I got him with five. I got him with ten. I got him with twenty. One easy banner. Si vous plaît, please. ¿Te diste cuenta que en la charla, en la charla de Minos de dice Lord Pandora es como el de Ryan Jesús Alberto? No, no me di cuenta, bro. Lo pasamos rápido porque estaba tratando de leer el chat. Es casi imposible. No, no por fragmentos, man. Not fragments again, please. Not, not shards again. Let me get one easy banner. Uno. <coughs> Jokes, muchas gracias por tu nuevo Twitch Prime, bro. Bienvenido a los caballeros de Atena. You want an easy banner? Vamos a ver si Yeah, it's true, Omri. It was the one and only. Que disfrutes jokes, tu casco y tus emos, bro. Bienvenido. Muchísimas gracias por usar tu Twitch Prime acá. Thank you, Iki. Ahora perdí la cuenta. Now I lost count of how many I did. This game, this game is so f***ing bug. Devoto en altar. Pone exclamación farm, bro. Exclamación F-A-R-M y te salen las tablas de cosmos. Gracias por los minis, Fercho. Muchísimas gracias. Suerte en tus invocaciones. Gracias, bro. Ojalá salga algo. Vale la pena tirar por él. Es muy buen personaje. Maravillas de África. Pero vale la pena. 
GD, casi todos los caballeros ese tienen una función. Si no quieres usar, usar esa función, vale la pena. Necesitas, te gusta jugar con control, que además haga daño, entonces vale la pena. Tienen los libros azules para meterle, entonces vale la pena. Tiré otro día sin querer. I wasn't gonna do. I wasn't gonna do another time. Ah, me salieron todos los de África, Caldo. Ok. Jesus Christ. Oh my god, summons! Why is my luck so bad? Omri, I'm gonna give you my account. You can log in and, and shoot. I got a four star? I don't care, Omri! I can make four stars, but I can't make a Minos. Hey, whip! Let's go! Oh my god, no way, dude! No way! No way! Yes, finally! Sweet baby Athena, gracias por tu bendición! Oh my god, finally! I was about to ask. Is this our first easy summon in global? Is nuestro primer summon fácil en global? O ya me ha salido antes medio fácil algo. How many did we do? 41 guys. Yes. Oh man, I'm so happy.